Hi, welcome to my channel Beauty is Subjective. I am Divya and I am so glad that you are checking in here. Uh, so today's video is about skincare routines, uh, bare bones and kind of basic routines that we can all do to make sure that we are doing the best we can to maintain our skin in the best uh, state possible. So I believe the most bare bones routine would be for a person to use a face wash in the morning and at night before sleeping, followed immediately with a moisturizer of some sort. These two ingredients or these two products, sorry, are the most basic items that you would need for the most bare bones of routines. However, I do think most of us are looking for something a little more than that as we get into our 20s and then 30s and so on. I am personally, like I said, in my mid-30s, I'm, I'm actually 37 and uh, some of my concerns have always been around acne and pigmentation that results from it. Uh, I do have a oily combination skin type, so a lot of my skincare has been uh, catered towards that. So the most important thing that you can do before you start any routine is find out what is your skin type and then pick products accordingly. So if you have a dry skin type you would pick up uh, more of a hydrating cleanser, uh, hydrating face wash and one that is not as drying on the skin or uh, doesn't have ingredients that are uh, gonna end up drying your skin. Uh, followed by something called a toner. Toner is something that immediately provides moisture to your skin and also balances the pH of your skin. Our skin has a pH, I mean pH scale is something that's used to measure acidity and uh, our skin has a basic uh, pH that it it's supposed to maintain and using different products or using harsh products can affect the pH of, of your skin. So making sure that you are maintaining it to the best possible uh, level for your skin type, it's very important. So toners kind of uh, ensure that you that it helps maintain the pH of your skin. This should be immediately followed with either a serum or a moisturizer. A serum is something that has uh, skincare uh, ingredients in it in a higher potency or higher levels of potency so that they are delivered to your skin in the best possible way and in the highest concentrations possible. Typically I personally concentrate more on vitamin C serums uh, especially in the morning because they help fight against the radical damage or uh, any kind of uh, sun exposure damage that is caused to your skin once you go out. So a vitamin C serum is what I would follow a toner with followed by well, most people do follow with the moisturizer. I don't personally because I have an extremely oily skin and uh, typically I know that not using moisturizer can lead to having an oilier skin because then your skin goes into an overproduction of sebum which causes your skin to be even more oily. But in my case, I use sunscreens or sunblocks that are more moisturizing in nature. So they kind of do uh, like a two-in-one job for me. One of moisturizing my skin and two of protect protecting it from the sun. There is, no matter what I say or how strongly I state it, there is no ingredient more important in your skincare routine than your sun care, a sun care or sunscreen or sunblock even. There are two types of sunblocks, chemical, sunblo uh, chemical sunscreens and physical sunblocks. I personally use physical sunblocks because I have an extremely sensitive skin type which breaks out even with one use of the mildest of chemical sunscreens. Uh, so I stick to physical sunblocks. What a physical sunblock is, uh, they lay on top of your skin and protect it against the UV rays from the sun and the damage that they can cause. They are literally a physical block for your skin to block it from the sun. Chemical sunscreens, however, get absorbed into your skin and absorb the UV rays and then dissipate it in form of heat and uh, helps your skin release it, basically avoiding any kind of damage that those rays can cause. Uh, there's no such thing as physical being better than chemical or chemical being better than physical. Each of us has a different skin type. We just have to figure out what works best for us. For me, like a lot of Elta MD products work well uh, for blocking the sun, uh, sun UV rays and the damage they can cause. So uh, sun care, like I said, is the most important thing. I typically would follow up with either a concealer and a powder or most days not even anything, uh, especially now in quarantine, there's nowhere I'm going, so sun sunblock and I'm done. Uh, you do get tinted sunblocks, which I use a lot of, so that kind of helps blur the appearance of spots or you know lines or any kind of imperfections that you want to cover on your skin. 
uh, then in the evening washing off all the gunk from your face that has either been created or collected over time is the most important thing right so I strongly recommend using some kind of a cleanser to remove the makeup or remove the sunblock before you wash your face with a fa uh, face wash or uh, some kind of a cleanser I typically use an oil based cleanser an oil based cleanser that emulsifies in water something like a DHC cleansing oil is my standard or a staple product I've been using for close to 15 years now 15 to 16 years uh, there are many products now on the market I think Garnier has one I think the micellar waters are really popular these all help take you take off uh, some of the harshest of foundation and makeup that you can apply or some of the strongest of sunblocks you can apply they get wiped off very easily when you use these kind of cleansers first wipe it off or wash it off and uh, by the way you can also use a lot of uh, facial oils here you can use jojoba oil you can use a coconut oil preferably fractionated coconut oil because the one that's not fractionated is found to be comedogenic which means it can cause acne for you and what other I like rosehip oil but rosehip oil is more so I use for moisturizing sometimes not so much for removing the makeup but makeup removal I would say something like a Pond's cold cream can work as well or um, yeah one of these oils or a uh, like a shoe humora has uh, these uh, cleansing oils as well and uh, once you take that off go ahead and wash your face with a face cleanser or face wash whatever you call it which is more catered to your skin type uh, I prefer any kind of a soap free mild face wash because the oil cleansing already takes care of removing most of the gum from your face uh, again follow it up with a toner you can have different toners for daytime and evening time you can go crazy with your skincare routines you know there's like so much variety available and uh, most important part of your I would say the most important one of the most important parts uh, as you age is to make sure that you're exfoliating your skin well again there are two types of exfoliation one is a physical exfoliation wherein you use a scrub of some kind or a microdermabrasion product of some some kind Clarisonic uh, face brushes are an example of that I personally have used uh, Clarisonic with uh, great satisfaction I love those um, I also use Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion but I mean there is like a lot of scrubs and uh, face brushes uh, you can use for physical exfoliation for the chemical exfoliation part uh, you can use something like an AHA or a BHA cleanser uh, sorry AHA or a BHA yeah, cleanser or a toner or even uh, a night cream these are chemical exfoliants what AHA does is it exfoliates more on the skin surface level and uh, gets rid of uh, any kind of dead skin basically exfoliation is getting rid of dead skin and uh, AHA does it at the surface level whereas BHA's wait first of all AHA's consist of let's say uh, basically it stands for alpha hydroxy acids and uh, uh, a lactic acid is an example of that uh, yeah so they cleanse at the they exfoliate at the surface level whereas BHA's more so go deep under the skin barrier and cleanse at that level BHA is something like your salicylic acid salicylic acid is a very popular ingredient for fighting acne and increasing skin cell uh, t turnover and things of that nature uh, I have used salicylic acid toners in the past especially Paula's Choice and such other uh, brands uh, I've liked them in the past they don't really suit me anymore but uh, I do believe they are extremely effective uh, hydration is key our skin does lose hydration as we age and uh, even if you are oily skin you cannot just dry out your skin because it will shrivel up like a raisin that's not the way to go about it hydrating is important uh, some of the facial oils that I mentioned help jojoba oil is the closest to your skin's natural oils and is the least reactive because of that I love that one I also love the rosehip oil uh, again it's high in vitamin C so it's gonna fight pigmentation and uh, any other signs of aging <clears throat> so that's kind of like a quick overview once again to give you a brief summary a face wash a toner serum if you want it in the morning a vitamin C serum in the evening you can use a more exfoliating serum or you can even repeat your vitamin C serum and followed up with a good moisturizer and in the morning sunblocks um, 
that's my overview of what a good skincare routine looks like. If you would prefer to know more about this, more so in detail with any kind of uh, attention or any kind of focus specific to maybe say cleansers, specific to sunblocks, I can make like hours long video about sunblock, uh, but not now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you want me to focus on any of these, I would like to make a video regarding those uh, depending on what anyone may request. What else can I say? Yeah, rest is very important. Our skin is determined mainly by the hormones uh, that you have. Making sure that your hormonal or uh, balance is balanced. <laughs> Making sure that uh, if you have skin issues, start there. And it is mainly also genetic to be honest. So you can either thank your parents or curse them for your skin type and uh, yeah that's pretty much it again i really appreciate you guys tuning in thank you so much for your time please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever thanks